Okay, today we're going to be making a video on how to fix a tap to a barrel. It's very quick, simple and easy. So your water storage for your uh, marine aquarium, salt water or RO water, all you will need is a tap, there's the back nut, there's a washer on there which is going to seal the front of the barrel from leaking, an auger bit, good size drill bit, I think this one's probably one or two mil short but we can get around that, cordless and maybe some sandpaper. So all we're doing is I've marked it with a the marker, there goes the drill bit. Okay, just check it now for size, I think we are a little bit small. Really, it's ideal to have the right size bit, but so I've done this more than once. Slightly make it a bit bigger. Let's see where we are. You don't want to overdo it because then you will have problems. Let's give it a bit more. No, a bit more. Try that, got a bit close now. A bit close, still not big enough. It's got to be close. We are close, don't want to pressure it. Let's keep going. Let's, uh, let's clean it down, this is where the sandpaper comes in. Probably need a tiny bit more. Should do it. Let me clean the inside. That's where the back knot's fitting. The inside is pretty much clean, but give it a little bit in case. It's important to sand it so we've got a smooth surface. And yeah, that's nice and smooth in there. Let's give that a tiny bit more here. So we do need it nice and smooth. Oh, nice watertight connection. Right. Nothing inside. Let's give that a quick check. Nice and snug. 
Like I say, we don't want to oversize that thing. Beautiful. So that's on. Get the back nut. The back nut's going to lock the back. And that will be that. may need to get a bit of a spanner on that mill. Oh, I'm just about getting to that. The trick is, the last bit you can just turn the front end, which is a bit easier, to get it super tight. Oh, yeah, I can see, feel that now, getting nice and snug. There you go, and there's your on off. On off. That's how you fit a tap to a, bar a barrel. <laughs>